In this video, we'll be discussing pre-lab number 7, part 2, in which we're asked to solve for G. Now, I've written out all my forces in this table I have here, that I just highlighted. And uh, I have here that the summation of my X forces is equal to F T sine theta. And the summation of my Y forces is equal to F T cosine theta minus mg. Now, these equations are equal to ma, of course, because f net is equal to ma. So let's write it out here. In our y equation, since we are not moving up or down, we are left with is equal to mass times zero, because we are not moving up or down, which is x squared. And in our x equation, it's actually equal to m a, which in this case is centripetal, and we will define that as m times v squared over r. Now, what, we're, what, we're, what we have here is two equations, two equations, two unknowns, and we can plug and solve for ft initially. When we solve for ft, we get ft if we use this equation here, Ft is equal to, uh, let's see, mg over cosine theta. Plug into the other equation, we use this Ft in this equation here, Ft sine theta is equal to mv squared over r. Use that Ft. And with a little bit of algebra, we find that g is equal to v squared over r tangent theta. And with a little bit more trigonometry, we can plug and we realize that tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And with a little bit more algebra, we solve that uh, we solve for our g. Now, let's go over quickly a little bit about error propagation. We're not asked to do it in this, but we are asked to do it in our, in our lab. So let's go over it right quickly. We know that V is a squared, so it has a percent uncertainty that we're going to have to multiply by 2. R has a percent uncertainty, and since it, which we just add that to our other percent uncertainties, this is V percent uncertainty in R for this one. And now what about our tangent theta? Well, our tangent theta has an error that comes from these two numbers here, this opposite and this adjacent. So we know our, uh, it's a little, it's a division, but we know that it, we add that percent error to this, percent error of tangent theta. And this is going to be equal to our percent error of g. Now again, we don't have to do this for our um, pre-lab, but we will be doing it in our lab, so it's nice to know. Alright guys, that concludes this video, so if you'd like to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let us know. It, it gives us some valuable feedback, lets us be able to keep making these videos. Alright guys.